The South Texas coast buzzed with anticipation on October 14, 2025. From the break of dawn crowds gathered along the shoreline, their eyes fixed on the horizon, waiting for history to unfold. The air was thick with excitement and hope, as families, engineers, and space enthusiasts from around the world converged at Boca Chica, united by a shared dream of reaching beyond our planet. All eyes were on Starship, the world's most powerful rocket, gleaming in the morning sun. Its stainless steel hull reflected the first golden rays, standing tall and silent, a monument to human ambition and ingenuity. The rocket's imposing presence was a testament to years of tireless work and bold vision. Years of explosive tests and relentless iteration had led to this moment, a mission that was more than a test, but a declaration. Each setback, each fiery failure, had been a lesson learned, a step closer to today. The journey was marked by risk, innovation, and the unwavering belief that humanity could reach further than ever before. Integrated Flight Test 5 aimed to launch Starship, return its Super Heavy booster for a soft gulf landing, and guide the upper stage to a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. This complex choreography would push the limits of engineering and coordination testing every system and every person involved. This was a rehearsal for future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The vision extended far past today's launch, toward building a future where humans live and work on other worlds, and where Starship becomes the vessel that carries us there. As the countdown reached zero, the 33 Raptor engines thundered to life, shaking the ground and shrouding the pad in steam. The sheer power unleashed was a reminder of the forces at play, and the precision required to harness them. With a deafening roar, Starship lifted off, slowly rising on a pillar of flame, defying gravity. The rocket's ascent was both graceful and fierce, a spectacle of engineering and raw energy as it climbed higher and higher. The crowd erupted as the rocket soared into the blue Texas sky. Cheers, applause, and tears of joy filled the air as people realized they were witnessing a turning point in space exploration. As Starship disappeared into the clouds, a new chapter in space exploration had begun one fueled by courage, innovation, and the unyielding desire to reach for the stars. Starship climbed rapidly, a bright star against the upper atmosphere. 33 Raptor engines fired in perfect harmony, propelling the 121-meter stack skyward. Mission Control watched tensely as the critical moment of booster separation approached. This time, the hot staging maneuver was flawless. Starship's upper stage engines ignited before full separation, pushing the ship away with precision. The booster fell away, while Starship continued its climb, engines burning bright. This successful hot staging proved SpaceX's innovative design could handle the immense forces involved. The upper stage accelerated to orbital velocity, the ride smooth and stable. Starship followed a suborbital trajectory not a full orbit, but enough to cross half the globe. As the engines cut off, the ship coasted silently at over 27,000 kilometers per hour. The first part of its journey was a resounding success. As Starship pressed on, high above the clouds, its companion, the Super Heavy Booster, prepared for a spectacular return to Earth. The world watched, breath held, as the next act of this orbital ballet began to unfold. Booster 12 began its own dramatic return, plummeting from the edge of space. Its journey back was as critical as the launch itself, demanding precision and power at every stage. Its mission, far more than just survival, was to land intact, upright, and ready to fly again. This was the promise of true reusability, a vision that could transform spaceflight forever. The boost back burn ignited in a blaze of fire, flipping the massive booster and sending it arcing back toward the Texas coast. This controlled maneuver was a dance of physics and engineering, guiding the rocket home. After the burn, it coasted silently, using its titanium grid fins to steer through the thickening atmosphere. Each subtle movement corrected its path ensuring a precise descent. The booster fell belly first using air resistance to slow down, its steel skin enduring intense heat and friction. The glow of re-entry lit up the sky, a testament to the engineering that made this feat possible. In the final moments, a landing burn fired, slowing the booster to a gentle hover just above the waves. The engines roared to life, counteracting gravity in a delicate balance. With a huge splash, the booster touched down upright in the Gulf of Mexico, sending plumes of water skyward. It stood tall, defying the odds and the elements. It was a perfect soft splashdown, upright, stable, and ready for recovery. 
the booster floated serenely, awaiting the next chapter in its journey. This was a monumental achievement for rapid reusability, a moment that marked a turning point in space exploration. Engineers and spectators alike celebrated this leap forward. SpaceX had proven a 70-meter steel tower could return safely from the edge of space, ready to be refurbished and launched again. The dream of routine, affordable access to space was closer than ever. The future of reusable rockets had arrived, promising a new era where rockets fly, land, and fly again, making space more accessible for all of humanity. One breakthrough of this flight was uninterrupted live video and data from Starship. Traditionally, re-entry creates a plasma sheet that blocks radio signals, causing a tense blackout. SpaceX solved this with Starlink, Starship's terminals connected to satellites overhead, relaying data even through plasma. As Starship plunged through the atmosphere, live video showed plasma swirling outside and flaps glowing red hot. Mission Control monitored every detail in real time, a game changer for safety and transparency. For future crewed missions, this means astronauts will never be alone during re-entry. The Starlink network proved robust, keeping the world connected to the action. This secondary triumph has profound implications for the future of spaceflight. SpaceX made the blackout a thing of the past. After separation, Starship became a spacecraft in its own right, coasting over 230 kilometers above Earth. This phase tested key systems for future deep space missions. The payload bay door opened smoothly, demonstrating readiness for satellite and cargo deployment. A handful of Starlink satellites were released, proving Starship's ability to deliver mass to orbit. The successful test hinted at a future of frequent affordable launches. After closing the bay, Starship oriented itself for re-entry, using its black thermal tiles as a shield. The ship's belly flop maneuver would slow it for the final trial by fire. The grand tour was over, re-entry awaited. Starship began its hypersonic descent over the Indian Ocean, streaking through the upper atmosphere at incredible speed. The vast blue expanse below was a stark contrast to the fiery drama unfolding above. As the ship plunged downward, friction with the thickening air built a brilliant plasma sheath, enveloping Starship in a glowing cocoon of superheated gas. The ship's heat-resistant thermal tiles, each meticulously engineered, protected it from the searing heat, temperatures soaring to thousands of degrees. Without these tiles, the spacecraft would have been lost to the inferno. Meanwhile, Four massive aerodynamic flaps constantly adjusted, steering Starship's dramatic belly flop fall. These flaps were crucial, allowing precise control and stability as the vehicle tumbled through the sky. Live video captured the glowing flaps slicing through the superheated air, their surfaces shimmering from the intense heat and pressure. Despite the chaos, the vehicle remained stable and precisely on target. As it slowed, anticipation built for the next critical maneuver. Starship prepared for its most daring move, flipping from a horizontal freefall to a vertical orientation just above the ocean's surface, a maneuver never before attempted at this scale. The rear flaps deployed, catching the rushing air and helping to pivot the massive rocket upright in a controlled, breathtaking motion. In a split second the ship performed a rapid, graceful flip. Three Raptor engines roared to life, their flames visible even in daylight, slowing the descent to a near hover just meters above the waves. The precision was astonishing. Starship touched down gently on the Indian Ocean, its landing legs absorbing the impact as it settled upright. For a brief moment, it stood tall above the waves before tipping over as planned, a testament to the mission's engineering. It wasn't a pad landing, but it was a fully controlled descent, demonstrating every step of the landing sequence flawlessly. The mission proved that Starship could survive re-entry, maneuver with precision, and land safely, even on water. Starship had flown, landed, and proven its revolutionary design, paving the way for future missions. The mission was a total success, marking a new era in reusable spaceflight and bringing humanity one step closer to the stars. Starship's flight marks a seismic shift in space exploration. Unlike expendable rockets, Starship is designed for rapid, full reusability, more like an airliner than a disposable machine. This flight proved the architecture works, stainless steel, advanced engines and bold landing maneuvers. The cost of reaching space could drop by a factor of 100, unlocking new possibilities for science, industry and exploration. Large space stations, lunar bases and Mars settlements become feasible. 
Starship's massive capacity and reusability make the dream of a city on Mars a tangible engineering project. This 10-minute triumph is more than technology, it's inspiration. It shows what's possible with relentless vision and iteration. For a new generation, Starship offers a future of permanent expansion into space. Today, the stars feel just a little bit closer.